Hi YouTube, this is Rajman with the Hunter Primal guys. Um, I got this uh, this new game, Hunter Primal, just came out uh, full version uh, yesterday. Actually, today is uh, April 1st, 2015, and um, I'll just kind of show you around a little bit. Now you could join a game, join different people's games. I kind of don't do that. I've got a certain select few guys that I like to do it with because uh, you know you'll share resources, and most of the folks are. Uh, they're uh, they're pretty good folks. I mean, you share ammo and things like that. But uh, I like to hang out with the uh, Hunter Primal guys myself. So anyway, I would go up here and start a game by myself. Um, PVP. I don't fool with that. Uh, I have enough uh, enough worries with uh, dinosaurs trying to kill me. I don't need people trying to kill me too. So uh, anyway, we come into the Hunter Primal. Now the way Hunter Primal is set up, it's a uh, it's a uh, basically an island, and I'll plug in a little uh, picture of that here in a second. Um, it's uh, kind of got a theme about um, uh, some space folks have uh, set up this island to look like um, dinosaurs and the crust crustacean period or whatever, and. Um, and they dropped settlers on this island and see if they can survive. Apparently there had been some in the past that uh, that had tried to uh, to make it on the island and obviously didn't work out. Uh, they had some settlers and they sent in some uh, some Merc Marines and some Navy guys and some Noble guys and uh, apparently uh, they set up all these little um, camps uh, and the dinosaurs eventually ate the people and uh, so anyway that's why you'll come across different camps you'll get uh, settler camps and noble camps settler camps were like folks that have like um, uh, like bows and arrows very primitive uh, guys um, and then you had the merc camps those are where the uh, grunts were these are like the army guys special ops guys uh, that's where you'll find a lot of the uh, the the ammo and weapons. Okay, the way we uh, look at our clothes, you press I for inventory and it pulls up over here and you see uh, that you have basic, uh, you know, I'm, uh, if you notice up here, um, you can get experience, uh, which gives you different levels. I'm at level 21, I've been playing since my like, closed beta or whatever. The longer you uh, survive, uh, this can actually go up to two, so you get double the experience. I can't remember if it's double uh, uh, credits as well, but anyway, these credits right here under the account balance, that's what you can buy stuff. Like when you pot in for the first time, uh, they're going to give you a machete. Um, and the, if you've gotten up to a certain level, uh, you'll be able to get a bow, uh, and then you can buy arrows and things like that. And I'll show you that a little bit later. But anyway, so um, that's how that works. So you go over here to clothing. You've got different clothing. It's your T-shirt. That's that's nothing. I mean, the camo value on that's virtually nothing. You might as well just leave that down there and just be naked. Uh, actually, you're not completely. It's, you get these white under all things. I don't know. So, long johns or something but anyway there's very little camo value associated with the pioneer pants and t-shirt and the pioneer shoes now uh, what you do uh, you, you can get settler clothes those the camo value is not very good and then uh, you get Merc Navy pants Navy shirt Navy hat all that kind of stuff and um, and those got a little bit better uh, value, and then you've got the uh, the the Merc pants. Uh, those are for like the special ops guys and all that. They um, they will uh, they have a better uh, camo value, and then of course the Noble. Those are the ones you want to get. And you get those from uh, the Noble camps, like Madame Celeste and uh, Sir Arthur's Folly and such. So anyway, uh, you can load your uh, you know each one of the uh, the slots is, uh, you know, the number one will give you, will pull up your bow, uh, and then of course you got number two, and then number three is just usually for like a smaller weapon, like um, like your machete or a pistol, something along those lines. Then you can put your guns and your bows and arrows. I really like my bow and arrow. I like those a lot. Um, so, anyway, moving on. 
Okay, here's a map of uh, Primal Eden. This is where the game is played. Uh, you'll notice that there's different uh, campgrounds all throughout the island. Uh, they're delineated by different symbols, and uh, like the crown symbols, like um, like uh, Madame Celeste Labs, or Author's Folly, uh, Bushwhack Meadows. That's where those are noble bases. Those are going to be where you're going to get the good stuff, like the 700 gun, the 308 rifle, uh, the noble clothes, which have the highest camo value, so you can sneak up on dinosaurs. Uh, the next you'll see are the army bases. Those are the ones delineated by chevrons like uh, in the very very tippy top up there you'll see site A then on the east part of or the right side of the map you'll see site B then site C site D all those are that's where you're gonna find like um Merck Spec Ops gear. Um, that's like shotguns and ammo and that's where the where the uh, army guys were so always got good ammo there. Um, the planet symbols like in uh, Mount Sisyphus research station there in the middle of the volcano. Uh, that's where uh, you'll find shotguns and pistols, um, some Merc uh, gear sometimes. Uh, it's rumored that the 50 cal is up there if you can get past the uh, pterodactyl uh, dinosaurs up there. Um, and then you'll see the three pike symbol, like in the bottom left-hand corner, you see end of the world. Those are settler camps. Those are, eh, not so good camps. You'll find bows and arrows and some settler uh, gear, which is the lowest camo value, or one of the lower camo values. And then you'll see the exclamation points. You don't know what you're going to get at those. Um, they're, they're just kind of, uh, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. And then, uh, okay, and... Uh, that you'll notice that there's different parts of the uh, map that have dense vegetation, like around Meteorological Station in the southwest portion, the south portion of the island. Then you see the open plain areas where like uh, Chop Chop Hollow, Cape Trihorn, Bushwhack Meadows on the uh, west side of the island. That's where you see a lot of uh, trihorns and a lot of um, uh, uh, T-Rexes and stuff, so that's where the big stuff's at. Um, and then the dense vegetation, you'll also see a lot of velociraptors, Utah, Utah raptors, like on the uh, around War Chief's Mound, north side of the uh, volcano, and down on the south side of the volcano as well. And that's an uh, overview of the island. All right, I wanted to show you this is uh, this is your basic look when you come in uh, with the with the with the clothing that you have. Uh, pressed F2 to go to that uh, that view there. Uh, F2 again sends you back to your. Uh, your uh, regular view and then you press I and that's how you come in there and you go to your clothing now notice down here this is how much your, your carrying capacity is so um, stuff costs it, it costs weight and uh, your carrying capacity so when you when you drop stuff it will uh, actually increase your carrying capacity uh, a couple of my uh, the primal hunter guys they uh, run around with nothing on and uh, they will look kind of like this um, and that uh, enables them to carry extra ammo as far as if they're carrying um, the uh, the 700 which is a huge gun or the 50 cal both are excellent uh, uh, for taking down t-rexes and triceratops other big stuff okay for uh, navigating around you press tab that pulls up your uh, your tracker here and then of course you can see your arrows pointing where where your point uh, where your the direction you're going there's I'm facing due west right mouse click that pulls up your uh, your big map there and um, and we see we've got a little camp down there we can go to and, uh, and so and then you can just maneuver around with the ASW uh, D you know just like you uh, would with most first-person shooters and then you, of course you look around with your mouse that's how you're able to uh, look around if you uh, here I'll press F2 again and watch this um, you can press X and well not from this mode but anyway if you press X while you're uh, like say a tri uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex is about to chomp on you and you're kinda you, you hit uh, left control to to go down prone and you want to look around but you don't want to move your whole body um, you press X and then that keeps your body still and you can look around with just your head and uh, that way you don't get spotted as, uh, as easily by something that's wanting to kill you and you press X again and then you you're back to your regular movement modes now ideally I want to do a pod in and show you how, how the pod works I'll show you that here in a little bit now sure I'll get killed by something like right here there's a raptor now notice the raptors they take a bite they take two bites and then they stop ouch alright ouch alright 
Oh, let him... Oh, man, this guy's going to kill me. Oh, and he got me. So now you get to see the pod. All right. Uh, all right, so uh, 14 seconds before pod. Uh, before the pod uh, will spawn in here. thought I was safe down on the beach, but obviously I'm not. Uh, now as we come in, I'll show you how the pod thing works and why the leveling up helps you. Uh, okay, so I'm at level 21, uh, which means I'm able to uh, to get different weapons. Uh, like I like to spawn in with the uh, with the bow, and I like to grab go up here to ammo, and I will. Uh, throw me about 20 arrows in there. If I wanted to go with the handgun, uh, because I've reached, I think, level 10 or so, I can't remember. Um, I think at level 10 you're able to get the handgun. Maybe it's level 5 for the bow, something like that. But anyway, you can get sights um, for them, get clothing. There's all your different clothing, okay? So, um, as you play the game and you gain experience, you kill uh, dinosaurs, you're actually able to increase your level um, of purchasing power, so to speak. Uh, each one of these costs, you know, yeah, it costs fifteen hundred. So you see my count balance up here. I've uh, got one hundred and thirteen thousand eight fifty-eight credits. So I can buy pretty much anything I want. Level twenty-one, so I'm able to uh, buy stuff. But anyway, look down here. If you can get down here to the uh, the noble stuff, that's where you get the max camo value. And but you can find all this stuff on the map too. But that's if you just want to start out with. Uh, you know, stuff. So, anyway, you have different types of uh, of healing power as well. Uh, you know, these low grade canisters. Uh, you you can spray it on yourself. It's kind of like suntan lotion or something. You spray it on yourself, and it uh, takes a little bit longer for your health to start going up on that health bar that's in the bottom right hand corner. Um, now you go to the like the medium grade. You spray it, and it uh, and it you you get more health, and it's speed it speeds up a little bit faster as it uh, it'll speed your bar up a little faster. And then of course the high grade. Now that's the stuff you want. Uh, you immediately go up, and uh, I fought raptors before, and they bit me, and I swear I was immune to them for a few seconds. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but it seemed like they either they were really bad at biting me or. Um, I don't know, but anyway. So uh, if you get to level uh, 34, man, these uh, I'll show you later on. These uh, uh, binoculars are really good too. Trihorn collar, uh, I love using that. That's good for calling in triceratops, and then you can uh, heart shot them with the bows and arrows fairly easily. And I'll show you all that a little bit later. You'll see uh, these different packs out at the different. Um, uh, camps that I was telling you about, the Merc camps and the Settler camps and the Noble camps. Um, you'll see these different uh, packs. You walk up to them, you hit E, and then you're able to go into the packs and that's where you'll find your weapons and, uh, and equipment and all that kind of stuff. Clothing is, is all pretty nice too. Sights and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's how that works. And uh, of course your carrying capacity. Uh, you know, the bow and arrows, they, you can carry tons of that stuff. Now if you start going up into the weapons where you're like carrying a 50 cal this thing takes half your weight and I mean it's just your half your capacity is gone by carrying a 50 cal or you know it's it's pretty crazy 700 k that's takes a lot of your uh, a lot of your uh, capacity as well um, the 50 cals uh, it's kind of harder to shoot the sight isn't as uh, isn't a good you don't have the scope so it's uh, a little harder to shoot um, uh, the 700 uh, both of these guns do tremendous damage compared to I mean when you shoot a t-rex man they rock their whole body just jolts when uh, when you hit them with one of these things um, and then of course the 308 you'll find these all over the place they're great that's a good standard weapon for shooting most anything um, you know triceratops and it comes with a scope too I mean, well you can find a scope and I'll put the scope on there and that's pretty good now these uh, shotguns man for raptors you can't beat a good shotgun uh, buckshot works great for like the uh, the Utah raptors and a little velociraptors the slugs actually I've, they, they they nerfed them in the last patch they nerfed all of the the pin off a lot of the uh, weapon so actually I like the slugs better now for the, uh, the over the buckshot so I'll, I'll carry slugs more than anything those will they'll wipe out anything you shoot uh, you know as far as Utah Raptors and if you can get a good heart shot on Triceratops and and uh, that new little flying uh, dinosaur they got out there that I can't stand he keeps picking me up and flying me all over the darn uh, 
map and then uh and of course the pistol you know i don't really like the pistol a whole lot um it's it's okay i mean in a pinch you know it's okay i i really like the bow because when you shoot a bow nothing here you're not gonna have a t-rex come running all all up on you for shooting a bow you know and so you, you can fight a whole pack of raptors and if you get good at a bow you can kill them unlike what i showed a little while ago you can kill a lot of raptors with a bow and you'll never have to worry about a, uh, a t-rex rolling in on you because he hears your gunshots all right, moving on. Uh, we'll move down here to pay and spawn now. And let's see where it puts us. Okay, so here's, so I spawned in. Now remember how I was able to buy a machete? So I press E, go into my pod. All right, you get the token machete there. I get my improvised bow, I'll throw there. And then I got my arrows. Now you can either put your arrows in your backpack or in one in your, uh, in your, uh, uh, you know, your bow, whatever you call those little things that hold your air, a quiver. Um, so you can go 10 and 10, or you can stack them like this and go 10 and 20. Now, once you stack them, uh, you really can't break them. And, well, you can, but it's, it's a little more difficult. So, anyway, I took that little map piece. That little map piece uh, basically will show you another part of the map. And all those will collect up eventually uh, as you go to the different maps. And those things you can find at each uh, base. And they'll show you another part of the map. Now, I like that little map I showed you all earlier that just kind of has the entire um, the entire map drawn out it's just easier to I, I pull that up on my secondary monitor and, uh, and that way I know where I'm going and what base is where I've actually been playing this enough now where um, I'm getting familiar with where everything's at anyway but um, all right so looks like we should have Madame Celeste is kind of up in this area we'll, we'll ease on down in there see if we can't uh, find something. Now in these open areas you'll see the quadrus whatever quadrosaurus thing. It's a brand new dinosaur that flies, flies around and uh, picks you up if you stay up high uh, without crouching or, or going prone. They'll pick you up prone too actually one of the other uh, one of my other buddies got picked up while he was laying down. Uh, I think you gotta time it when they fly at you, you. You go prone and then they fly past you and you're able to turn around and shoot them. So we're just going to move on down here a little bit and uh, go try to find these. Now I died kind of down there on that beach down there. So I know there's a raptor down there. Um, but I don't feel like going back down there again. We'll look. Okay, so here's something else right here. You see there's a, uh, I'm coming up on a on a box up there. Now that's one of those boxes that has stuff in it. And um, and that's where you'll get your, your different... Um, you know, ammo and such. And so they got these random boxes that you'll just kind of find throughout the map, and then you'll have the uh, every base will have two or three boxes uh, of usually the good stuff is at the bases. Like I said, the Merc bases, the ones that have the chevron on that map, um, those have like good weapons, you know, shotguns, 308s, and such. Uh, sometimes 700 or a uh, or 50 cal, very rarely, um, but they are out there. They can be can be found and we'll see what uh, what comes up here now I'm kinda running out here you can press C to run really fast but uh, like this but you can draw stuff towards you uh, really easily though that's very easily that's the problem so usually if I hear some uh, Utah Raptors or something I'll kinda crouch down a little bit till I can uh, I always check my six every now and then because there's little the Utah Raptors. You can hear them sometimes, and then other times they'll they're they're specifically coming to uh, to try to sneak up on you, like y'all saw a little while ago. That other one, I didn't even hear him. He just kind of popped up. Okay, so moving on around here, you gotta be careful going down those uh, steep the steep mountains like that, man. They'll they'll kill you. And this may actually be too steep for me. Let me see here. I don't have any health uh, canisters, so if I die, that will be it for me. So we'll just uh, I'll run around over here, and then there's a there's a way down over here I can go. Okay, so I went engaged fraps a little bit ago, or disengaged fraps at. Uh, 
locked my game up, so uh, pop back in over here. We're going to go down to Crooked Creek here in a little bit. Uh, but when I spawned back in, though, and restarted this new game, I got another box right here, so we're going to check that out first. Running over to it. I'm going to press E. See what we got in there. Oh, got some 308 ammo. That's always good. Some more arrows. I like to shoot a lot of arrows because, as I was saying, it doesn't draw T-Rexes to me. And we'll head on down there to Crooked Creek. Okay, now another thing. Here's a marshmallow. No, marshmallow. Mushroom. Uh, you can uh, eat the mushrooms. Um, and sometimes they'll take health. And sometimes they'll give you health. I ate it. I didn't lose any health. So uh, you can see that health bar down there in the lower right-hand corner. Um, oh, I also collected a rock down there. And if you see that in the lower right-hand corner, that's... Uh, Rocks are good because you can throw them and distract dinosaurs. Uh, like uh, Utah Raptors, you can draw them in uh, without getting yourself exposed. Um, uh, T-Rexes will even uh, kind of go towards rocks as well. So in a pinch, you can use a rock. Now we're going to head on down there to uh, Crooked Creek. Okay, so uh, my computer crashed right after I got killed by Quetzalcoatlus pterodactyl flying thing so anyway it moved me over to the other side of the island so instead of being over here I am now over here and um, so we'll be uh, heading down to this little settler camp like I was saying settler camps will give you uh, like bows and arrows that's like uh, very primitive stuff you're not normally gonna see um, you know, shotguns and 308, stuff like that. I mean, every now and then, but usually it's just like bows and arrows and little settler gear, which is kind of primitive. Sometimes there's a T-Rex over there and some Triceratops. And remember, the dense vegetated uh, areas, those tend to have like the raptors and things. The, uh, the open areas tend to have like the uh, T-Rexes and Triceratops and those pterodactyl things flying birds that pick you up and fly all over the map and drop you and kill you sometimes if they drop you though it won't kill you uh, they'll leave you with like ba barely any life left and then you can't it's like it breaks your legs or something because you like only be facing one direction I don't know if it's a glitch or what but um, I've healed after getting dropped by a pterodactyl and lived and still was not able to like turn you know I, I just kept facing north no matter what I did which was kind of frustrating so got my uh, bow and arrow here they've uh, made it where it zooms in a little bit faster than it used to which is nice since the game is still in development they're going through a lot of uh, you know they're kind of making things a little uh, better and then they're reducing things that are just too good and, you know that kind of stuff like um, you know they nerfed uh, I think is what they call when you make the ammo not quite as strong um, they nerf the, the penetration because of some of the weapons like shotguns and bows and arrows and things because um, Basically, you could kill raptors way too easy. So, they had to make it so they had to challenge you a little bit, I guess. And uh, so that's where the, the nerf of the ammo came. So now you got to make a count, and when you shoot, I mean, you got to really aim for the heart. And um, in later videos, I'll really, I'll show you a lot of uh, like heart shots and stuff. And that's that's where you save ammo and you kill the thing that's trying to kill you a whole lot faster than uh, hitting them in the legs or the the face. You know, you'll notice a lot of the dinosaurs will, they'll turn their face down. Their skulls are really hard, and uh, you you can't hardly kill anything except for a little old Velociraptor. They're like the size of like. I don't know, little coyotes or something and uh, they jump on your face that's where a machete really comes in and you get a sh machete is nice because when the when the velociraptors jump on your face you just swipe it like that and it'll kill them but you notice in that bottom right hand corner when you do that it it it, it takes energy it takes stamina that you would normally take use for like running you know like if I pressed C it would make me run I really don't want to do that right now in case there's a 
Utah or something up here. I really don't want to engage just yet, but I guess I can and will. Uh, let's see, how far are we? All right, we head down there to the old settler map there. All right, so the uh, settler camp is uh, going to be called the end of the world down here. We'll see what we can find. Now this is just going to be a brief tutorial just to kind of show you how to basically navigate, uh, use your map. If you can get a copy of that full size map that tells you where everything's at, then you can plan your routes. You know, from like into the world, I'll then go over to site D, which is kind of east of it. That's a Merc camp, or the meteorological station. There's always good stuff at meteorological station. You're going to get a and get ammo and good guns, shotguns and such. Now you see I got a couple little boxes up here. Now along the beach a lot of times you'll be able to pick up rocks which are nice. I mean the graphics are incredible. You know for as far as um, doesn't take a whole lot of computer. You know if, if I'm like playing World of Tanks for example my frame rates drop a lot if there's a if I turn the settings up real high. But on uh, on this, I've got an old computer, so Q6600, so uh, CPU, and I think a NVIDIA 650 TXI Boost. Anyway, so press E to pick up your rocks. Those are always good. You saw the two rocks I picked up in the lower right-hand corner, just to the right of Settler, mate. Those might be handy uh, later on when, when I see something that's going to try to kill me. I can distract it. And here's another one over here I'll pick up. Like I said, rocks are always good to have. Never know when you need to throw something. Now sometimes they'll put a T-Rex down here. At least in past patches. Now supposedly they've thinned out the T-Rexes. They don't use them as much. Or, you know, there's not as many supposedly. So there may not be one down here, but... Yeah, they've uh, tried to keep the T-Rexes out in the open areas now, the open plains and kind of down around the lava beds and things. And down here in the dense areas with a lot of trees and stuff, they, they go with the Utah Raptors, Velociraptors, those things. Now the thing about Velociraptors, man, they, they will, um, you burn a lot of, uh, of your good ammo that you need. I've got some more arrows. Don't need the, uh, don't need that. But what you'll do is, if you're going to be playing on a map for a while, take all of it. That way, you can make that box go away, and that box will respawn. What I do, I hit I, and then I'll just drop the bow back onto the ground like that. It'll leave a little pouch. There, you got a pouch. But then eventually, that box is going to come back up again. So that's why I always empty the boxes all the way. And then you got another one over here. So that's basically how you navigate the maps and uh, and get around. Uh, this long one sometimes you'll have like a, there you go, got some settler gloves and a hat. So basically what you do is, you know, the hat gives you a little camo. Now watch this, it's going to, it does take, you see that, that took, uh, what, 3%, you know? So settler gloves, you put that down here, that's going to take more. So you have to ben weigh the benefits. Now if you're carrying, you know, little light stuff like I'm doing, then yeah, that's great. Um, you know, it's okay to have some more camo. It's probably better when all you're toting is a bow and arrows. But if you're carrying a 700 or a 50 cal, um, and then of course you want to take that, put it in your satchel so you can make the box go away, and press I for inventory, and then you just drop it back down again. That way those boxes will respawn eventually. So, anyway, that's uh, kind of how that works. Like I said, if you're carrying a 50 cal and in a 700, you're going to want to uh, you want to run run around naked for the most part. Save all your uh, your carrying capacity for for the heavy ammo because uh, the ammo takes a lot of capacity. So anyway, that's it for this little tutorial. There'll be some more where we'll uh, where we'll engage some dinosaurs and uh, show you some different strategies on how to attack a T-Rex, particularly with two people. Um, it's good to separate a little bit, and you'll see that. Uh, use the terrain to your advantage, that kind of stuff. We'll kill some Velociraptors, some Utah Raptors. I'll show you how to one-shot some, uh, some Trihorns. Uh, find the uh, 
finding the uh, hearts, the heart shots are going to help you out a lot. So anyway, hopefully this will get you going. And uh, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll come out with some more advanced stuff here in the, in the next few days. Thanks. Okay, so I'm easing on down here. You can see my little shadow down there. Here we got some... Uh, all right, so I see some raptor footprints. So I left click on that, and it pulls up on my tracker the uh, the footprints. Right click, that tells me the direction that he's going. That's probably the one that went over there and killed me on that beach. Um, so I pull my little arrow up yeah, every now and then. I just feel better when I do that. I don't know. Okay, I'm going back... Now, these little purple plants, they're really, really nice. If you hit them, they make you cough and they take some of your, uh, some of your health. So don't hit the purple flowers. They will kill you. Um, they got some sort of toxin on them or something that touches your skin and, you know, absorbs through the skin. Doesn't hurt the dinosaurs, though. It can only hurt you, so. There's the box out here in the open. Make sure those flying quadrosaurus things aren't up there. They like these wide open areas and they like to come down. So there's some more boxes, kind of, that you can go get stuff. So I always kind of crouch down and even lay down because I don't want a dinosaur to see me while I'm in the box. So I press E, that pulls up my. Oh, yeah, I got some arrows there. Got some medium grade. I'll take that. I'll put that in slot four. So I press four to pull that up. All right. Now the box is gone. If you can empty boxes, um, that's good. If you can empty them all the way because they'll respawn later. So if you're planning on playing on a map for a while, um, then you wanna you wanna empty the boxes. Okay. Okay. So the basically that's the that's it for the tutorial uh, of the uh, hunter uh, of the the hunter primal. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was that you can uh, hit the, you know, you can hold your breath. I think I've got mine set to the space bar. That will help you to steady your, uh, whatever gun it is that you're uh, you're shooting. So if you hear, whenever you see me shooting stuff, you'll hear it go. <gasps> That's because he's. Uh, I'm I'm space barring right before I shoot. You hear that? So anyway, that's it. That's basically what I want to do. Uh, uh, let you guys know uh, we're going to do a lot more uh, advanced stuff here. Uh, you know, shooting dinos and some different tactics and all on how to take down the wrecks and heart shots. I think we're going to do a heart shots video next, and then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, like it, subscribe if you uh, enjoy the game. Okay, bye.